Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time's important to me as always. And what we're gonna do in today's time is, we're gonna check out this Billings Baitcaster that I got from Timu. $6.38 for this reel. So we're gonna check it out. It's supposed to have 19 ball bearings. We're gonna see if it's even worth $6. So we'll find out what you think, what I think. We'll do this together. Stick with me. So this is it guys, a $6 bait caster from Timu. You know, I've, I've never ordered anything from Timu until I ordered this reel and some other stuff to go with it just to see basically what you could get for under $50 from Timu as far as fishing gear goes, because I'm a sucker for new tackle and just always like trying out new things. But I was really curious what type of quality you would get for six bucks. I know what you're thinking, probably not much. I don't have high expectations but I am gonna do a fair review on this reel, just like I do all the other reels, rods, everything else that I do reviews on here on the channel. With that being said, I'll give you the juicy stats on this reel. It is a 7.2 to one gear ratio. If you're not familiar with gear ratios, what that means is for every complete revolution of the handle, that the reel is gonna spin 7.2 times. So that's the gear ratio on this reel. It's supposed to be, supposedly, have 19 ball bearings. With that many ball bearings, it should be as smooth as glass and as cool as the other side of the pillow. Uh, I don't know. That's a super high bearing count, especially for you know a, a reel that only costs six bucks. Um, and it's supposed to also have, I believe it's 17 pounds of drag. So first impressions of this reel. Um, I'll tell you a couple things that I noticed right off the gate. If you look at the handle on this reel right here, you can see it's not flush with the star drag on it. So it's it's not bent, but it's it, it's tightened down firmly, but you can see it's at an angle here, two or three degree angle right there. And then you can also see, if you look at the reel handles on here, the paddles right here, this one comes off at 90 degrees, but this one here is angled down like it's bent at two or three degrees. I think it's just poor quality control. You can see the handle's bent, the paddle here is bent down. Um, as we move to the side of the reel, star drag on it, um, it does have an audible click on the star drag. If you can hear that. So, you know, that's a good thing. I do like the audible click on the drag. Uh, the spool tension knob here also has an audible click. If you guys can hear that. The one thing I don't like though, if you look down in here, and see the, the spool tension knob, it is like a, a super thin plastic on it. I would say it's the consistency of what you would get almost on like a, a bottle cap, you know, like a Mountain Dew bottle or something. It's that thin plastic that's on there. The same on the other side, it's got magnetic cast control. We'll jump into that and I'll open this reel up so you can see that as well. But the, the adjustment on the cast control here, it's the same type of plastic, really kind of cheap and thin. Uh, the construction on the body is plastic. Um, what the reel weighs here, I'll put it on some digital scales here in a second. I'll be able to tell you that. But um, the thumb bar down here, uh, the clutch on it, you know, when you when you depress the clutch, it's pretty smooth um, and it engages right away. As far as any back play on the handle goes, and that, that's something I always look for is back play. Does it have a true anti-reverse? Because I don't want to lose a hook set because that handle gives even an eighth of an inch. I want it to just stop dead in its tracks whenever I stop the, the reel. And you can see here, let's try it. There's a little, just a teeny bit of back play in the handle. Not as much as I would expect for a reel of this price point, which is the lowest price point I think you can get. But um, there's not a whole lot of, of back play in the handle. So that is a good thing right there. So if you look down here at the foot of the reel, it is a aluminum construction, a metal construction, as is the, the spool on that. Like I say, we'll get into that here in a minute and look a little closer. But one thing I noticed, Right on the inside here, and you, I can't get this, this camera to focus very well, I'm sorry, but there's little flakes of paint sticking up right through here. So it doesn't look like there was a lot of quality control as far as the paint finish on it goes, because it's kind of just sticking up here and here. But we'll open this thing up too and give you guys a better look at the inside. Okay, so the way this reel opens up is there's a little lever here uh, on the left side of this plate. You're gonna push that down, and when you push it down, it's gonna release the side plate here and this whole plate is gonna come off. So you can see right here, I believe it has 10 magnetic brakes on it right there. And then as far as the body goes, we'll take the spool out. The spool's, a, it's a baffled spool. So, you know, kind of that hollow spool with the ports cut in it. It is aluminum construction on that. The interior of the body is aluminum, but I want you guys to look at this. You see that kind of gray look that's on the interior of the body here? 
what that is is the the paint finish isn't complete i mean it was like it was brushed over but you can see it on the the interior here and you can see it on the inside here where it just did not get a, a solid coating of paint okay so you can see this real weighs 6.9 ounces so right out seven ounces um that's a little heavy, I think, for a low profile reel. But then again, we are talking about a $6.38 reel, so I'm not expecting it to be uh, light as a feather. But anyway, that is the weight on this reel. So that is an up close look at this reel. Now let's put some line on it, throw it on a rod, take it out to the lake and see what it can do. All right, guys, here we are out on the lake. I've been fishing this reel for a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say up front, man, it, it's got issues. When you're reeling it in, it sounds like a bag of nails being jiggled up and down and it is super rough, not smooth in the slightest, but uh, I'll show you a little bit of casting with it and uh, show you a little more with what I'm talking about. Okay guys, for the setup on this, I put 10 pound P-line on it, uh, put this on a Luz Laser HS speed stick. If you wanna see a re review on this rod, it's a budget rod. I figure we go budget the whole way, budget reel, budget rod. But I've got a review on this. It's actually a really great um, low priced rod, but that's another video. I'll leave a link down in the description. 10 pound P line on this. I'll let you hear this thing. You guys hear that? And then this. Sounds like that worm gear is really struggling um, and it's not smooth on the retrieve or on the crank. And I'll cast it one more time here and let you guys see, uh, just hear what I'm talking about. You guys hear that? Not good not good final thoughts on this reel guys it's a hunk of junk i wish i could say otherwise you know and i know i can't expect much more for six bucks on timu but i was hoping it would be one of those reels that you know it's got a super low price now because they're kind of trying to get it off the ground and you know a year from now it costs double triple or whatever of that and it's just uh you know you find one of those those little gems but that's not the case it sounds like a bag of nickels when you're trying to reel it in um, it is it's awful it fishes even worse uh, wouldn't recommend it even as a backup reel in worst case scenario. It just it is what it is uh, But I do appreciate you guys joining me today. If you got something out of today's video, please consider subscribing to the channel I'll leave some links down below for some other review videos I've got like I say I've got one here on the lose rod and a whole bunch of others Be sure to check those out once again I really appreciate you joining me and remember until that next video get out there fish <laughs>